welcome back to the channel my name is jack so happy you're here so happy you tuned in today i'm doing a video of gymshark's latest and greatest maybe fifth and final whitney simmons line this video is out a little bit later than i wanted but it took a little bit to get all the pieces and then i was gone for a week for work here we are a month after it launched. <laughs> I ordered the stuff and it's here and I ordered it specifically to do a review of it. So let's get started. I was very surprised when the line was announced. While it didn't seem like there was a lot, it also seemed like there was a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like there were only like three performance pieces and then the rest were like lounger pieces. So I got one of each and I'll start with the performance pieces. I got them all in this really pretty leaf green. The color palette was like super neutral, super muted tones. The other ones kind of blend in with my skin, I feel like. He said this is like the tried and true way Whitney material it's like very thin very soft it's not that brushed it's more smooth so it does feel really nice I don't know what the past materials feel like this is the bra I like the little detail underneath the bust it has a little underwire and then a little mesh and it has the logo in the middle but I just think that's so cute and unique for a little sports bra I think the V could be a little deep they usually are and then the back, it's advertised as like super customizable fit. Honestly, I do not like clasps in the back. I've never needed them because a girl doesn't need a ton of support. So, you know, the sports bras I buy usually don't need clasps in the back. And I just think they kind of look funny on sports bras. But that's just me. So the straps are adjustable, which is nice. You have the adjustable clasp. I think there's no mesh on the back. It's really just that front panel. And really the mesh is just like in this little square right there. And then she only had one pair of leggings this go around and they have pockets. So that's always nice. While I don't need pockets on my leggings, when I have it, do I use it? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So the front has this little, it kind of reminds me of the Alpha Elite like kinetic line where the leggings have this seam going up the front and then they're not like super compressive in the waistband. The front, it does look like it dips down a little bit, which could be better for me in my short torso. And then it has the seam going in the middle. Looks like the waistband to itself has a slight curve on the bottom. And then it has the pockets, no front seam. It has a seam right here, and that seam is really just to create the pocket. I saw that in Whitney's story, so hopefully it doesn't dig in. And then the back has her logo and her name. It has that butt scrunch, which is supposed to be super subtle on, like you can't really tell. And it does have the like glute, the V glute seam to sit above your glutes, so I do like that. I got these in a size medium as well. I typically don't love Whitney leggings on me. The material's kind of thin, so they're not super compressive and they don't provide a ton of support and so they're not the most flattering and I think the butt scrunch the way it like folds in the back also kind of creates folding in the front so I usually get a lot of camel toe in her leggings another reason I don't keep them so we'll see how they fit and then the last performance item is the short sleeve crop top for some reason this I mean not in this color but this like sold out super quickly and I was like I didn't know that many people wanted this it's just like a basic fitted crop top I got a size medium I don't think it's supposed to be like loose it's supposed to be more form-fitted I don't know it's soft it's, it's like a similar material so it doesn't feel like a t-shirt or anything all right it's on and I have to say Oh, I should probably lower it a little bit. I am just jealous of all these influencers out here wearing full sets and looking good. I never look good in a full matching set. So this is the crop top. It's like fine. This is a size medium. I would definitely stay true to size if in between. You could probably size down. Only if you're in between. Like it's a little stretchy at the bottom. Not that I'm complaining. It's cute. It covers like I'm wearing the bra underneath. So it covers a little bit longer than this. I think if you move at all though like it'll ride up even just like the couple minutes I've had it on I have to continually pull it down and it'll like stay until you move so it's kind of tight in the arms I don't know if that's on purpose to make your arms look pretty good well just in general I don't like when things are tight in my arms but I'm kind of into it now I'm like so what if your arms are big they're big you know it just makes you look a little bit like more built and that's always nice mm. this is the back There's not a lot to say about it. 
I don't know if I'd work out in it just because it's like very tight. Like it's very restricting in the arms. Like even just going like this, you know, it's like pulling at it a lot. So I don't know if I'd do any heavy lifting in it. It's a nice material. It's a nice set. The bra is actually pretty cute. I will say like it does roll up a lot, which is pie, you know, on me, not the bra. So when you like move, if you walk or squat or something, like it kind of just rolls up. So then I have to like pull it back down. The mesh is cute, you can't really feel it. The underwire hits me at a good place. It has good coverage. I don't think you'd have side boob or anything, but I'm also not super busty. It's also not cutting in. It's pretty comfy. I put it on without adjusting anything. This is the back. I think it's really flattering. There's not a ton out there that looks like this. I love the little underwire detail. I just think it makes it look a little bit more upscale, a little more elegant and chic. I think it's cute for a sports bra. The cleavage, it's kind of low. I don't know, like if you're leaning over, you might have an issue. I got my normal size medium, and because it, you can like adjust it everywhere. If you're in between, it really just depends on your cup size. The cups are pretty big and the pads are really big. If in between you have a smaller bust, you can definitely size down and just adjust everything. But if you have a bigger bust size, I'd probably go up just so you have enough room to be supported. And then you can always like tighten things later. It's not bad. Okay, these are the leggings and I don't know if you can tell, but oh, I gotta move this back. Okay, so the leggings, I'm like continuously having to pull them up. They just roll down very easily. There's no like band or anything to keep it up and there's really no compression so it does kind of just roll down to where my natural waist is which is normal especially since the material is so thin i do like the front seam i think it's a cute little detail i like that it dips down usually the whitney leggings are like super high rise on me it comes to a good length but i'm 5'3 um this is the back I think it's pretty squat proof actually, like the material is pretty thick and this color is not super thin. See this rolling down which is constantly normy and when it's rolled down it's not the most flattering. So yeah, I mean it's on par for her usual leggings so if you usually like them you'll like these. If you don't like them you're not gonna like these because they're very similar. I don't think I'm getting as bad camel toe as I usually get in her leggings so that's a plus. Her loungewear line is made of this eyelash eyelash knit material and i honestly didn't know what to expect but when i got it it feels a lot thicker than i thought it'd be like i know this kind of material is super popular since skims has done it and just the version that i've seen they're usually like a little bit thinner where this seems pretty thick i got three colors this is the brown the pink and then the canyon red feeling this bandeau it's like super thick do you see the weight of this thing I don't know if you can tell, but it's very stiff. I got this in a size medium and the inside's that as well. So that'll be interesting. It has like a thick band and it does say her name inside. So that's a nice little detail. But it doesn't have cup pads or anything. So you really just have the band for support along with the straps, which are unadjustable. And then it has like a sewn in logo, a little patch sewn in on the back. This feels very interesting to me. Like it's not over how thick this is. I got a size medium, so we'll see how this fits. I don't know who's casually wearing this outfit, but. So the shorts have that thick band in as well. The logo's in the back. So this is the back with the sewn in logo and it doesn't have a butt scrunch or anything. The front, I thought it had some pleating, but I think it's just the way it was folded. I think it's supposed to lay flat. They look kind of long. When people tried them on, they were really long and I don't love long shorts. They're also creating like a ton of static. Of course it's not, but you know that always bugs me too. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like all the reviews I read, nobody has properly described this material. I understood the texture, but it's like way thicker than you think it's gonna be. I didn't want it to be like that thin, like loose knit material where it would kind of like fall apart. This does seem more durable, so I do like that. The bandeau's like double lined, so it's a little bit more supportive than the halter top, but it is tighter. Like this band's <laughs> pretty tight and it's pretty thick. The straps are fine, they're unadjustable. They're actually pretty soft. This is the back. 
I actually like the bandeau. It is kind of tight like right here. Like I think lounging in this, it's just like a thick square. So it does pinch in like slightly here. And then like the sides where the material is sewn together is a little thick. Like you can feel just the stiffness. So I don't know if it'd be like the most comfy to just lounge around in. I'd probably rather wear something else, but... Definitely stay true to size. Do not size down. I think it'd be way too tight. And these are the shorts. They are kind of long, but once they're on, they don't feel that bad. They don't pinch in at the bottom, which is good. That same band though is at the top. So on one hand, I like it because it does have more compression and they're not like rolling down because you have such a thick band. But on the other hand, it's a very thick band. So it's like... If you sit and lounge around, I'm not sure how comfortable you'd be. It's just weird. It's like, it's really hard to describe. My skin's like further away from my body and it doesn't feel like glows. Like it just feels like you have thick skin on you. Oh, this is the back. I would say squat proof, you know, pretty thick. I don't think they're see-through, but um, yeah. Then I got the halter top. This feels a little less thick than the bandeau. It doesn't have pads. It doesn't have that band. It's just kind of like a sewn in hem at the bottom. I got this in a size small because I thought it looked big, but that could have been a mistake. Ties at the top, little v-neck, and then it's a little lower in the back with the logo on the back as well. Hot take, this halter is actually pretty cute. I did get a size small. I think it's fine. I think a medium could have been too big. The small seems to fit me, so I think you could size down, especially if you don't have huge boobs. It's just a halter, so this is what the back looks like. I mean, obviously you can tie it to be like tighter or looser. It comes to a good length. It's not cutting in. It's not too tight. The band at the bottom is kind of restricting. There's not a ton of stretch, so that would be your only thing if you size down. So I'm five three and I have a short torso and it hits a good length on me. I think if you're taller, it'd be a little bit more like midline, more of a crop where this would come to like the top of anything high waisted I wore. But I think it's super cute. It's flattering on the shoulders. It's not that bad. When would I wear it? Unsure. I'm not someone who lounges in super expensive clothes. So for that reason, I don't think it's very practical for me, especially for like $46. But is it a cute shirt? Yeah, absolutely. If you had like a reason to wear a fuzzy like cute shirt, get it for sure. All right, that's it. Thank you if you made it all the way to the end. That's my review of the Whitney line. The leggings fit as expected. They never fit that great on me, so still didn't fit that great. But the top and the bra were pretty cute and I like the material. It's like thin but soft. This eyelash material is wild. I thought the halter was super flattering. That was probably my favorite of the, the eyelash material pieces I got. I like the fit of the other things, but it just like, I wouldn't wear them. So like this video if you found it helpful. Comment below if you have any questions or advice on what I should keep. And subscribe for future activewear reviews. Thanks. Love you so much.